Well, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we're looking at Fusion 360 again and uh, parametric airfoils. So uh, if you do like my stuff, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, just so you get updates. So uh, this is what we're looking at. We've got uh, an airfoil down here that I've drawn and um, created it parametrically. So as you can see, there are properties here that we can change. So if we have a look at changing the chord, um, the airfoil gets uh, larger. You can change the thickness to chord ratio, uh, so you can make it thinner, or you can make it uh, you know, just whatever you want. Um, you can change the angle of attack. Uh, so if we drop that down to 80, uh, it'll swing around. And um, you can do these things in combination. So we could take that up and make it uh, a larger thickness to chord ratio. Um, and then uh, just to allow you to position the airfoil in space, uh, you can do uh, different dimensions. So this is a one millimeter unit, if you like, airfoil that I've created. And the idea is, is that I can position these on different planes and parametrically drive the planes so that I can then get uh, all different types of wing sections just by playing around with these values. Um, so uh, where we need to go now is I'll show you how I've created these. So if we expand the um, the parameters window, you can see here I've imported from uh, a, a, just a Cartesian um, generator the MH45 coordinates. I've used 65 coordinates. You could do it with any. And then I use equations based on those raw coordinates plus the um, the data that we've got to generate um, the actual positions of the points on the airfoil. So uh, if we uh, now we'll go into the sketch and um, uh, you'll start to see how this all works in the background. Uh, so if we go into edit the sketch, here we go. And you can see there are a shed load of dimensions in here. And then uh, if you look at the parameters, so uh, basically each of these parameters is used for a dimension. And as you change them, you can see the relevant parameters changing. Um, and based on the equations that I've used, you can uh, re reposition all these points. And they just drive those dimensions, basically. So it's quite tricky to set it all up. And to be honest, Part of the reason why the uh, profile's moving around is I haven't quite got it sorted quite yet um, the way I'd like, but it's workable. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I'm quite pleased with it. It means that, uh, like I said earlier, I should be able to generate, um, you know, cop uh, copy this into separate sketches on different planes, and then I should be able to do a loft between the profiles to generate wings parametrically. Um, which I'm hoping I'll be able to do uh, show you in next week's video. Um, so yeah, so when you sort of count all these things around, it, it gets quite cool. Um, so uh, yeah, like I said uh, at the beginning, um, that's uh, that's the parametric wing. And uh, and if you like the uh, video, then please do so, and uh, obviously subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell. So uh, anyway, thank you very much for your time and uh, I'll see you again next time. Cheers.